Have you ever wondered why people cup their hands around their mouth when calling for someone? Using hands in this way amplifies the voice by directing more sound toward the target and also by drawing more volume from one's mouth. Cupping the hands creates a kind of cone shape, much like a megaphone, the speaker on an old Vitrola record player, or a Victorian hearing aid called an ear trumpet. The cone shape works to amplify sound in two ways. First, the cone directs sound. As sound emerges from any source, it travels outward in all directions, going left, right, up and down, as well as straight ahead. Using a megaphone is a lot like using a funnel in that it directs more sound toward your target and allows less to scatter to the sides. Making a simple amplifier for a cell phone is as easy as constructing a cone shape for the phone to sit in. Build a cone, cut a slot toward the back to accommodate a cell phone, fire, and turn up the volume. Choose a method for forming a cell phone amplifier. Cone shapes can be made easily by coiling, slab building, or even throwing on a potter's wheel. Today, I'm going to use the slab building technique. The smallest end of the cone should be large enough to allow the cell phone to fit toward the back. A starting measurement of about four to five inches in diameter at the back of the cone works well. Now with your slab, create a cone that opens up gradually from four inches and gets wider as it gets longer. The length of the cone could be determined by the amount of space available for the amplifier. Score and slip the edges and smooth over well. To enable the cone to sit on a surface, one side of the cone can be flattened or legs can be added to aid with stability. If you are adding legs, be sure to score and slip both legs and the attaching point to the cone. I'm going to make feet by using this Amico foot mold. So I'm just going to shape my clay so that it fits into the mold. And this is just a press mold. Embellish the cell phone amplifier by turning it into an animal by adding ears, eyes, and teeth. When the cone is leather hard, cut a slot with a needle tool about one inch from the back of the cone that is a half inch deeper and wider than the body of the cell phone to be amplified. Score and slip the edges and smooth them over well. After bisque firing to cone 04, apply glaze using a natural bristle brush in three flowing coats. Fire to cone 5. The added vitrification of clay and glaze will allow even more sound volume. For all the materials, a PDF, and teaching standards, visit dickblick.com slash lesson plans.